What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? Hey, you guys, get it more ready here. How you doing? I love you guys. Hey, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Ready. How you doing today? Hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. You could be anywhere in the garden universe. But you choose to stop by and spend a little time with your skinny boy Randy, and I greatly appreciate you for it. Thank you so much, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, you guys. Welcome to Gardening with <laughs> Welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, click the like and subscribe button. Yeah, that big red square down there. Uh-huh. Click on that. Leave a thumbs up. Uh-huh. Click share. And click that little bell over there. You'll get a notification every time I make a video, which is like every five seconds. Okay? Okay, I love you guys. You're the best. Thank you so much for being here. Also, head on over to my Facebook group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. Beginners and experts are welcome. That's also the name of the group over there. If I can't answer a question here, you go over there. Oh, my goodness. I have one of the best Facebook uh, the best Facebook group in the world, you guys. You will always get your answers over there. Somebody's going through exactly what you're going through. That's why I created that group, and I love you guys over there also. Thank you so much for being here. Also, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. So, let's just dive right into this video. Today, I'm going to be talking about planting onions from seed, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. I love onions. Love them, love them, use them all the time. Use them in all types of foods, all types of sautés. Just love me some onions, you guys. And thank you, Lord, for the onions, for creating that vegetable. Is it vegetable? Yeah. Okay, anyway, <laughs> back to, uh, onions are one of the easiest things to grow, you guys. So, all you're gonna need is some soil, your seeds, and your containers. Onions are almost indestructible. You can just throw them out in the yard and they come up everywhere. As you can see, I have wild onions in my yard. And I just went over there and picked a handful of them out, out, out of the dirt. And as you can see, they're onions. See? And these are wild. Now I could replant these and let them get bigger if you wanted to. But this is what we're going for. We want our onions to turn into little onion nets <laughs> and then we're going to put them in the ground once they sprout but we're going to start by seeding our containers and as you know I like to take a little bit of potting mix a little bit of my compost and mix it all together just to make a soil cocktail okay okay because <laughs> we ain't got no money so we take what we have and make it work so I'm going to put these to the side today I'm going to be growing yellow sweet Spanish onion and yellow of parma onion both from the baker creek seed collection i love baker creek you guys i've had so much success with them onions germinate within four to five days you guys they'll be popping up out of the ground yes so what we're going to do today oh yeah you guys just to show you how quickly things happen look at this you remember the herbs we planted four days ago four days these are our basils i mean uh yeah basil coming up already you see that four days and you guys watch me plant these this is the one in the peat pellet and that's the other large leaf basil already four days that's how quickly things germinate you guys I love growing you can keep growing all year long okay okay so what we're gonna do I like to take I'm gonna use this container to mix up my soil a little bit of my compost that my wonderful neighbor got for me. Thank you so much, neighbor. I'm gonna take that, a handful of my con um, cocoa core and black gold potting mix, and that's gonna be my seed starting base. That's all. Put it into my container. I'm gonna use a six, a large six cell container. Just gonna pour it in there like that. Need a little bit more. Just mix it all together. Onions are very, very tolerant. <laughs> they can take a licking and keep on taking, okay, okay. So you always wanna pack your cells down. Remember guys, especially for your onions, they need a strong base and we don't want any air pockets in there. So we're gonna pack it all the way down, just like that. A good firm packing. And then, we're gonna go back in with our cocoa core over the top.
just like that and I don't pack that down okay And there you go, you have a great seed starting base. And just, you know, get rid of any little twigs or sticks or anything. So once you have your base, you're gonna take your onion seed. This is the yellow sweet Spanish onion, a delicious onion. Pour you some seeds in your hand. Yeah, you can be generous. See that? And I'm simply going to take my seeds, I'm going to put them in this hand, like that. And I'm gently just going to sprinkle them all over. Overseeding, yep, definitely overseeding. It's hard to see because they're dark seeds, you guys, but it's a lot of them. Way overseeded. And that's what we want because we want them to come in bunches when they grow. And then we'll separate them so they can get to their full maturity. Then I'm just going to take a little bit more soil gently cover because they take to the ground easily easy you guys and there there you have it if you want to start them in a container just like that now for the ones that I want to grow to maturity I'm gonna start them in a container and I'm gonna do the same thing with my mix I'm gonna put some of my famous black composting soil in here just like that you guys nothing pretty nothing fancy we don't do pretty we do productive okay okay I'm gonna put that in there like that then I'm gonna mix the rest of this in there and see this is gonna be its permanent home and there are drainage holes in the bottom so I'm just gonna mix all that in together just like that and see these onions are gonna live in here forever okay so we're gonna do some more yellow sweet Spanish And since we're going to leave these in here forever, I'm not going to overseed. I'm going to put about how many I think will go. I'm going to do two. Two seeds. I'm going to make one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to put two seeds, maybe three, in each one. Just like that. And then just gently cover them back up. And then I like to be extra careful and just go down the middle and make three and drop some seeds in there. Just like that. And you can drop a, uh, a couple of more in there. That way, if some don't make it, we have a backup plan. And that's all you do, you guys. Gently water it in with a light watering. You don't want to pour the water directly on here. So I have this misting water hose I can adjust so I just put it on mist like that and it gives it a light mist and that's all you need I'm gonna do the same thing with this one here and you see it doesn't even move the soil so our seeds are not disturbed now if you want to start your bunches you can use a little container just like this and it'll work just as well so we're gonna take some of our black composting soil you guys take and use what you have make it work pick that back in there like that give it a little shake to mix it up that's all it doesn't take much you guys to make you some soil give it a nice little packing take out the big sticks and then this one we're going to do a bunch of the yellow parma and we're going to overseed this because we're gonna separate these. So I'm gonna put about that many in there. Maybe a little bit more. Yep. Just gently take them and sprinkle them right in there. Just like that. <laughs> They're sticking to my hand because my hand got wet from the water. Then just gently cover them back up. That's all. Don't forget to label your items, you guys. That's our Spanish. And this is our Parma. 
And there you have it, plain and simple. Three different ways you can start your onions. Onions are frost hardy, so they can take a frost. But they require a lot of light, you guys. So the reason I'm starting them in containers like this is because I can put them in the house under the grow light. I can put them outside during the daytime, but you know we're in November, uh, well, about to be in November. So sometimes the sun comes out, sometimes it doesn't. So just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna keep these in the house under the grow light until they really come out of the ground. And then I'll give you guys an update. Okay, you guys, and there you have it. That's all you have to do to start your onions. Remember, I love you. Don't forget, click like and subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, just not the two middle fingers. Okay, okay, live, love, laugh, you guys. Oh, stop it eating, you're the best.